everyone. Good morning, China. Let's talk about the area claimed by China on the South China Sea. What the hell can happen to those waters and surrounding area? It may be the very beginning of some kind of First World War on Asia. It may be considered that um, till the 70s, Seattle was an organization cloned by um, the origin of NATO, but in the southeast of Asia was a, a treatment organization for some uh, countries, including France and the United Kingdom, for the control of the area and the counter strike to the communist parts in Asia. Now, with the fall of the Soviet Union and the source of, of um, uprising nation in China, communist China, from the very reconstructive structure of uh, Deng Xiaoping China, economic and politically, and they try to put that economic power into other areas, geo-strategy and politics and military on the South China Sea. Manila, the Philippines, gave to justice, to international court, the conflict about the South China Sea. International court gave reason to Philippines. They were right about the iron because, as we can see on a map. Every nation, every country has uh, 12 miles of uh, sovereignty and uh, 2,000 miles of uh, economic um, zone for uh, own uh, development in the countryside. But you can see a tongue of sea until uh, the former eastern Indies from the Netherlands, uh, Malaysia, now Malaysia, and uh, mainly Indonesia. All the South China Sea supposed to be property of China. Look other seas and uh, catch the same principle and use it on the Mediterranean Sea. Use it on other seas, Caspian Sea, Black Sea, whatever sea in the world you would like to use that principle of South China Sea. Can India use it on the Indic Sea? Mainly ocean, not sea. Indic Ocean, can China be portrayed by India in the Indic Sea? I can see and I can say without doubt, without uh, any term of conflict, that India cannot use that principle in other seas, nor France, no United States, no one, no China, China, yes, can try with atolons and uh, self-constructed bases on the South China Sea against uh, Vietnam, against Brunei, against 
Malaysia against Philippines and mainly against Japan and against Taiwan. Former Formosa Island is claimed from uh, China. Uh, what uh, happened with uh, the pandemic may have given us a perception about uh, what Taiga Taiwan can give uh, to the world. And uh, it has also structure on economics, on uh, chips and electronic area that no one has in the world can help Europe and the world in many areas and the world have the opportunity, the need. The responsibility of supporting independence, liberal values, prosperity of the people of Taiwan. For the very beginning, the people of Taiwan. And on the other side, the people of Vietnam, Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia, Indonesia and other countries with borders on South China Sea. Because what happens there cannot be accepted, is not accepted in any other sea or ocean in the world. So why should be China privileged with those circumstances? So then without uh, those things as AUKUS or other stupidity, the world has to let, has to leave a new Seattle, a new responsible organization, not to go against China, not at the very beginning, instead of marking marking one principles one two or three ideas about free trade the free for the seas for transportation for people free for goods for go and come over the seas, free trips, free voyages, freeways, also on South China Sea, not controlled by China. So that organization, that Southeast organization, should be integrated by Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, Philippines, Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, and the uh, United States, and uh, if uh, it's needed by Australia, New Zealand, France, and United Kingdom, and if possible by India, a new Seattle comprehensive for the area for guarantee if possible, not given South China Sea a new scenario like what happened in Europe in World War One, in First World War. But if China persists on its uh, imperial vision, imperial vision of South China Sea as we can see in the area claimed by China, that new organization, not AUKUS, this new organization, including the powers in the South China Sea and surrounding area, must show China what happens 
when imperialism tries to defeat freedom. Liberty has to prevail. And not only speeches, facts, given facts by the powers, by the states, by the nations surrounding the South China Sea. This is the proposal for the news about uh, those uh, circumstances we can read periodically about what happens there. It's not China. Its principle is one way of life, one way of living, one way of being in the world. So, this case is uh, about China. This case is about South China Sea. But if it would happen otherwise, in other scenario, the principle will act probably much better than with this uh, economic superpower like now is considered China. So, if in those cases the world would uh, come together as one to make the difference, why not here South China Sea and with China with the idea about making possible that freedom, liberty prevail in South China Sea. This is the way I can say to all you that um, tell your congressman, tell your senator, tell your government that uh, the focus on the area must be like this like this about making China understand that what they want to do is absolutely and completely impossible unacceptable and they have to resign and retire their ugly and internationally unacceptable settlements on the air and have a comprehensive collective cooperative politics a policy with the surrounding nations be one neighbor more one good, happy, powerful, more than others, but a good neighbor in the air. Thank you. Es que hay casco. Agur verabat. Bendijalpeano.